You are listening to Keystone Stock Talk Podcast, episode 59. If this is your first time listening, then thanks for stopping by. This podcast is produced every week for your enjoyment, and show notes are found at www.keystocks.com. Come back often, and feel free to add the podcast to your favorite RSS feed or on iTunes. You can also follow us on Twitter at Keystocks and on Facebook or via our 24-hour streaming radio station, pennystocks.fm. And keep submitting your stocks via the usual social channels or at our website, keystocks.com, for our Your Stock Our Take segment. And we just might review your stock in an upcoming show and let you know if it is a buy, sell, or hold. This week in our Your Stock, Our Take segment, we take a look at Lucera Diamond Mine Corp, symbol L-U-C on the TSX. They are an independent producer of large, exceptional quality Type 2A diamonds from its 100% owned Caraway Mine in Botswana. The Caraway Mine has been in production since 2012 and is the focus of the company's operations, development, and exploration activities. A listener asks us if it is a buy on the recent pullback. Our star of the week is a Lacer Gold Corp, symbol ASR on the TSX, a low-cost producer with an 80% interest in the Coppler Gold Mine in Turkey. The stock is up roughly 20% since mid-December. We consider what is driving the move and whether it will continue. Finally, our dog of the week is Maxar Technologies, Inc., symbol MAXR on the TSX. The company, formerly known as McDonald, Detweiler & Associates, is a space technology solutions provider which also provides vertically integrated capabilities and expertise including satellites, earth imagery, robotics, geospatial, and analytics. The company is a repeat offender in the dog category. It's been profiled twice on our show already at significantly higher prices. One year ago, it traded for $80 and has fallen 89% since that time. Back in November, it traded for $35 which is just over two months ago, and it has fallen 77% since that time. So is it a dog or opportunity? Now I am flying solo to start 2019. Aaron Dunn, my co-host, will be back next week. However, you can hear him this weekend on the Chorus Radio Network with Michael Campbell on Money Talks at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, or you can watch or listen to the show, sorry, on the archives at cknw.com or through other chorus radio related uh, archives. And yeah, I believe you can also listen to it on moneytalks.net after the show. Now I'm going to get into our Your Stock, Our Take segment. We got a question coming in from Manny via Twitter. It is on Diamond Miner Lucera. He asks, uh, it pays a strong dividend and is profitable is it on sale after the recent drop is it an opportunity or am i catching a falling knife is what he's saying essentially it's time we answer a question on your stock in a little segment we like to call your stock our take buy sell or hold lucara diamond corporation symbol luc on the tsx currently trades around a dollar 56 market cap in the 618 million dollar range Importantly, what does the company do? Well, they're an independent producer of large, exceptional quality Type 2 diamonds from their 100% owned Caraway mine in Botswana. In fact, from the Caraway mine, this company has produced some of the largest single exceptional quality diamond stones in the world. They've been in production at Caraway since 2012. Uh, That is the focus of the company's operations, development, and exploration activities. Now, there is a new segment of business here. Uh, In February of 2018, last year, the company acquired Clara Diamond Solutions. Clara is a wholly owned subsidiary of Lucara now, is developing a secure digital sales platform that uses proprietary analytics together with cloud and blockchain technologies to modernize the existing diamond supply chain. The key points on this company, uh, as we expected, 2018, we've not recommended this company, but followed it for a while. It was a challenging year for Lucara in terms of sustaining the level of profitability over the couple prior years. 
Revenues for the nine months dropped 26% to $135.6 million. Earnings dropped from $0.17 cents per share to $0.05 cents, uh, for the nine-month period. Now, management believes it is stabilized and significantly improved mining operations throughout the course of 2018. The company states that Lucero is now focused on optimizing the base business at Caraway and pursuing a suite of high potential organic growth opportunities. Now, the completion of the feasibility study examining the potential for underground production and life of mine expansion at Caraway from 2016 and expanding it until 2036, it remains a top priority during 2019. In addition, the company will continue to systematically ramp up diamond sales through Clara. At the company's primary producing asset in Caraway, the company will be focused on driving operational efficiencies, increasing productivity and cost control, and obviously, they're looking at maximizing cash flow. All of that sounds great. Our issue with the company is the lack of concrete long-term growth in cash flow. Over the past five years, revenues have been flat to lower and cash flow has followed the same route. I mean, it has generated solid cash flow, but there's not been a ton of growth. There is growth potential with the potential expansion at Caraway and the blue sky potential of Clara, but uh, particularly in the case of Clara, that is very speculative at this stage. There's great potential there, but very speculative. Lucera will likely have a bounce back year in 2019 in terms of cash flow, which is good, and earnings. It offers some speculative value at this price. Uh, there's a decent bonus dividend that we see here. We consider all dividends in re resource-related companies as bonuses. Uh, we monitor the stock for potential entry points, but would like to see a more concrete path to certain growth long term. It has some spec value, but we're still looking for a concrete long term sustainable cash flow growth model here. From our stars and dogs segment, it's time for this week's star. 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 Now, the weekly star is a Lacer Gold Corp, ASR on the TSX, currently trading at $2.65, uh, just under $790 million market cap. Stock is up about 20% since mid-December. What do they do? They're a low-cost producer, which is key. We do, if you're ever going to look at a gold miner that's producing junior or senior, look for low cost, uh, with an 80% interest in the Coppler mine in Turkey. Now... What is driving the stock? Decent news from the company, but in the end, it is what drives all gold-related stocks, the price of the underlying commodity. Gold uh, recently hit a 30-day period high, or it's hit a, uh, it produced the biggest gains over the past uh, year in its 30-day period. It's up 3.2% since early to mid-December uh, to just under $1,300 US an ounce. Again, the news from Elaser itself has been just okay recently. In fact, actually, the the December or the sorry, the Q3 numbers from the company were underwhelming. Revenue was 35.5 million, down 29 percent, and uh, adjusted EBITDA was down 39 percent to 17.7 million from 28.8 million in the same period. So a little bit underwhelming. The company did just announce this past week that they had a productive last quarter, which resulted in the company producing 170, roughly 170.8 thousand ounces of gold um, in 2018 uh, on an unaudited basis. The all-in sustaining costs for the year uh, were in the range of US $615. So those are low cost, which is you know a good thing to see in a company like this. Now, what we see here as now the, the mine expansion uh, is proceeding well, which is good to hear, uh, and the cost structure is great. Turkey's geopolitical situation adds a high level of risk, but in our minds, the stock will just continue to follow the price of gold. So if you are positive on gold for 2019, a laser is a decent speculative option. If not, the opposite is true. Now, its gains, though, since mid-December, about 20%, give it the coveted star uh, status of our star of the week. Next, we're going to move to our dog of the week. 
From our Stars and Dog segment, it's time for this week's Dog. The company is Maxar Technologies, Inc., M-A-X-R on the TSX. Should be no stranger to our listeners as we profiled it. This will be the third time over the past year as a dog. Uh, The company currently trades at $8.20 in that range. It's market cap $967 million. And the company has been an extreme loser over the course of the past year. Its shares one year ago traded in the $80 range have fallen 89% since then. Uh, over the past week, uh, the company... What I, Let's just look at what the company does first. Uh, Maxar is calls itself a global leader in the advancement of space technologies. It's formerly known as McDonald, Detweiler, and Associates. It calls itself at the nexus of the new space economy, developing and sustaining the infrastructure and delivering the information services systems that unlock the promise of space for commercial and government markets. Now, what is driving the stock lower over the course of this year? Well, the company released Q3 earnings that missed investor expectations once again, continuing the trend that we saw in Q2. Uh, it reported net losses in the second consecutive quarter of EBITDA lower than the previous quarter. Now, this past week, which toppled the stock again, was on January 7th, Maxar reported that its Worldview 4 satellite experienced failure. Uh, this satellite uh, has a net book value of about $155 million and generated revenues in the past fiscal year of $85 million for the company. If the satellite is not recoverable, then the net book value will be written off in Q4 2018, which will continue a string of write-offs for this company. The company has and continues to have some debt issues and recently had to amend a credit agreement to stay on side with its lenders. It has funded growth through huge share issuances and just too much debt for our liking. We do not like the model and have called it a dog in this segment in the $80 and the $60 range and in the $30 range. And due to its cratering over the past week and month and year, we repeat its status as our dog of the week. Again, I'd like to thank all of our listeners for tuning in this week. I'll remind you, Aaron is back next week. I remind you to listen to him this week on Money Talks with Michael Campbell uh, and continue to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and all those social media channels. Keep your questions coming into our Your Stock, Our Take segment. And I'm going to wish wish you a happy new year and a profitable 2019. Thank you. 